um, fan fa fabulous fashion. What was it called? I don't know these things that I'm saying. The words, I don't know what they mean. Couldn't do it. Hey guys, what's up? Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Today I'm going to be doing a little bit of a different style, sort of a vlog-esque video where I take you guys along with me to the New York City Garment District. I'm going to be doing some fabric shopping there for some upcoming projects and it's actually my first time in the Garment District going fabric shopping so I thought it would be fun to take you guys on the journey with me. Uh, I am going to be filming on my phone today since my camera is large and heavy and I don't want to carry it around midtown with me. So I hope you won't notice any large drops in quality or anything like that. I did specifically get this phone because the camera's supposed to be good, so hopefully everything works out for that. I'm going to go over the materials that I'm bringing with me uh, just to give you an idea of how I'm prepping for my trip to the garment district. I got my patterns out for one of the projects that I'm going to be working on, Moiraen Sedai from the Wheel of Time series. I have a cloak and a dress for her and I just went through both of the patterns and made sure to mark down all of the measurements and uh, yardage for the fabric that I'm going to need as well as any notions that I'll need, lining, etc. Um, so that was for the cloak and then this is for the dress and this means that when I'm in the store I know what size fabric to look for and how many yards of it I need. A um, little bit of a different one, I'm also going to be working on my Kratos cosplay and I figured that I would just do a raw materials list for him. Um, since I'm not using a pattern, I'm just going to be making my own patterns for the foam and the armor and the whatever little skirt thing that he wears. So I just made a raw materials list for things that I'm going to need that I don't already have. I'm also just going to bring this gigantic tote bag so that I have somewhere to put everything once I buy it. Got my wallet in there. I'm going to put my notebook in there, headphones. And I think we're ready to go. Our first glimpse at a fabric store. We'll look at all those beautiful stretch. Oh my god, it's so shiny! All right, so my first stop is going to be into Mood Fabrics. If y'all have ever watched Project One Way, you've definitely heard of Mood Fabrics. It's kind of the end all be all for fabric stores that like people outside of the city know about. Um, I'm just going to stop in here first because it's the major one and it's the first one that I've come across as well. It is Thanksgiving week so we'll see how crazy it is here today and see if I can do some filming inside as well. You 
guys, it's literally magical in here. I'm so excited. Look at this. I love that. I want to make something out of that so bad. Okay, focus. Ooh, so I'm looking for a sky blue velvet. This looks like it could be promising. Let's see. I'll just put that right back. Okay. Look how pretty. How cool would it be if this was like the lining for my cloak, huh? I feel like that would give it a kind of magical look to it. I don't know about lining with organza, but it looks cool. <laughs> Y'all, they have camo print leather here. Oh my good lord. They also have that fabric that gets shiny when you put a flash on it. So I've run into a bit of a snag, unfortunately. The leather and faux fur section of Mood is currently roped off and being cleaned. I'm not quite sure what happened. There's a ton of fans blowing. One of the employees was talking about a fire, so I don't know if something happened that like they can't allow access to that area right now. But those are like most of the fabrics that I need for Kratos. So I can't really look at any of those here today, unfortunately. Well, I sort of struck out at Mood, unfortunately. I got some sewing supplies as well as um, some leather cord that I'm gonna use for Kratos, but I didn't, wasn't able to access the faux fur or the pleather, and I didn't find any sort of velvet velveteen or brocade that I was looking for for either of Maureen's pieces, so I am now going to go to M&J Trimmings to see if I can find some stuff there and then head to so, Elegant Fabrics, I think it's called, um, afterwards to see if I can find some stuff there. Look at all the sparklies! So I decided to pop into this place, Botany, Botany, Botany I'm guessing is what it's called. And I found my closures that I needed here. So now I'm just going to go to Elegant Fabrics and see if I can find some stuff there. What a great Christmas present that would make. Loki, these shining bands are really cool though. So there it is over there. I'm gonna meander on over there and try and make my way up. awesome fabric at a store in Brooklyn so I may try to do that as well but for now I'm just gonna go ahead and head home gotta go grocery shopping for Friendsgiving and uh, I'll show you guys a little haul of what I got when I get there all right y'all well I'm back honestly I kind of feel like I struck out today I hate going to Midtown no matter what <laughs> So when it feels like I didn't really get everything that I wanted to, it kind of bums me out, especially because I had to come home during rush hour. But regardless, I did pick up some things that I needed and I got a little bit of pleather. I think it's pleather. I don't even know. Maybe the reason I didn't get stuff is because I don't know what I'm doing and I don't know what to look for. But I felt like it moved. Like, I wasn't even able to find velvet or velour type fabrics like they had one section one tiny rack that was solid color velvets 
or velour or velveteen or whatever and there was like maybe five different ones and that was it they had nothing that I needed except for maybe a potential lining fabric and that was the only that was the only swatch that I even got while I was there <sighs> I had such a blast being in that store but it was just like I kept walking around and there was so much fabric and there was absolutely nothing that I needed and I'm not even looking for that crazy stuff so just light blue velvet dark blue like whatever type of fabric you make a fucking dress out of and lining. I also kind of struck out at um, fan fa fabulous fashion. What was it called? Elegant. New York Elegant Fabrics. Um, because like I said earlier, they closed at 6 and I showed up like 10 minutes before not knowing that they closed at 6 so I didn't even get to look at half the store. But the one fabric item that I picked up was from there. So I'll start show you guys that. So this was actually the last that they had of this fabric. It's um it's not really showing up on camera too well, but it is a pleather PVC pleather, I think. Does that make sense? You guys, I don't know these things that I'm saying the words I don't know what they mean but yes so it looks like leather but it's not I would call that pleather right yes no okay great but it's nice and sturdy it was only $9.95 for the yard um the yard was literally again the only <laughs> amount that they had left of this fabric I don't know why this is not focusing it's a little bit lighter or more reddish colored than I think I need for Kratos, but I think um, I can paint it with acrylic paint and or um, get some sort of fabric dye to kind of darken a little bit, but I think I'm just gonna do a wash with black acrylic on it. Um, it's a yard and a little bit, so it should be plenty for what I need for Kratos. So. Boom shakalaka, I did accomplish one thing. While I struck out with fabric at Mood, I did get some essential sewing supplies that I've needed. I got the classic tomato pin cushion. I got some glue sticks, cause I'm almost out of that. I got Taylor's chalk because my dressmaker's pencil does not fucking draw on fabric for whatever reason. And I got a blunt and rotary tool for tracing um, patterns onto fabric. Woo! Oh, and then I did get, also for Kratos, I got some leather, suede, pleather, whatever it is, trim. Um, so I can do the wraps around his arm and his legs. And then, at the trim store that I went to, Botany, I'm gonna say that's how you say it, Botany, Botany, I don't know. I picked up ribbon, which I need for the inside seam where the hood meets a cloak for Maureen's cloak. And then I got a hook and eye fastener for her cloak as well which is just a um, silver threaded hook and eye closure, which I think will fit the look that I'm going for with her garment. So in the end, I did get some good stuff to start working on Kratos. I think I'm just kind of feeling like this internal pressure to like start making again, just like I have this kind of pent-up energy since Costober ended that I haven't really crafted anything and I'm just like needing to release that creative energy and so I was bummed that I couldn't find the materials I needed to start on Warren's anything because that's kind of the project I'm most excited about right now and the one that I'm like really wanting to get going you know I think it's tough when you 
are a creative person or you you have a creative passion or you do creative work for your career when you are not creating because you kind of have this like energy in your head constantly that wants to make things within whatever medium that you usually work in so now that it's been almost a month where I haven't like, crafted anything or sewn anything, I'm just kind of getting antsy. Um, and the big projects that I want to start working on all require specific materials. So, just something to keep processing in my own head and reminding myself of. And, you know, something to, to work on not getting so bummed out. I did now, looking at the stuff I got, I did actually get, I think, enough pleather or whatever it actually is to start working on Kratos. I think this, I think, I think, I think this will be enough fabric to construct everything I need for him. That I think is the thing that I am the absolute worst at when it comes to sewing and crafting, but sewing specifically is knowing the yardage of fabric that I need to complete a project when there's no pattern or anything like that. Like conceptualizing how much fabric I need, I almost tr I tried to buy, they didn't have it so I couldn't, I could only buy this yard, but I tried to buy five yards of pleather. I don't know if that even makes sense or not. When I see it all spread out, I'm like, there's no way that I would need five yards of this. I don't know. Whatever. I'm just rambling now. <laughs> Is that something that you guys struggle with? Is like understanding amounts in your head? I think I've always struggled with conceptualizing the amount of something when I can't physically see it, if that makes any sense. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of like chill vlog aesthetic journey <laughs> to the garment district with me. I honestly had a fun time filming it. It was kind of like a fun like little field trip to take you guys along with me and it kept me occupied and, and engaged as opposed to just kind of going by myself and just zoning out and doing it for however long it took. I really like, I felt present through the whole experience. So that was really cool. Uh, I hope I got some good footage. We'll, we'll see how it turns out. And if you guys like this, let me know and maybe I'll do some more videos like this in the future. So until next time, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I know I've been kind of inconsistent with uploads, but life is crazy and it's also hard to consistently have content when this is not something that I'm doing in any full-time capacity. But uh, I, I'm gonna have several projects now that I have these uh, Kratos materials, so I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!